Here are some exercise problems from section 1.5. For the functions below, answer the following questions. What is the location of vertex point? Is the vertex point of max or min? And what are the x-intercepts? This problem right here, a f of x equals negative, negative the absolute value of x plus 3 plus 1. Uh, since this is negative, the leading coefficient right here is negative, that means it's going to open downwards. It's a V-shaped graph that opens downward, so that means the vertex point is going to be a maximum. The location of the vertex point to find the x part, set what's in the uh, absolute value equal to zero, and you get x equals negative three, and the y part is this right here, so the vertex point is at negative three, one. You can get that on the Excel sheet by going to the absolute value sheet, put in your coefficients, going down here and you can see what they are and you can pause it to see them. There's the layout up here. There is no B because B is anything that's squared. Uh, and then the A is negative 1. That's the number in front of there. And it says here that the vertex point, if we scroll down, is at uh, negative 3, 1. And then is it a min or a max? Well, you can look at the graph over here and you can see it's going down if you want to go farther with it. Maybe if I I go farther, we might be able to, to uh, see it. Let's go to negative 5 here. And you can see here's the vertex point right there, the peak. And it's at negative 3, 1 right there. Let's go down to, uh, um, let's go down to E. E is a radical equation right there. So again, to uh, uh, see if it's a max or a min, well, this is, uh, uh, what this gives you is the bottom half of a sideways parabola. The leading coefficient is negative. That's what tells me it's the bottom half. So when it's the bottom half, it's actually going to be a maximum. See, when that leading coefficient is negative, it's going to be a max. So this is a maximum. Vertex point, set what's inside here equal to 0. If you set negative 2x plus 10 equal to 0, you'll get 2x equals 10 or x equals 5. So the x part is 5 and the y part is negative 6. So it's at 5, negative 6. We can do this on the radical sheet, just the very next sheet after the absolute value is radical. Put in your coefficients as I have them laid out here. See the root is 3. If you don't see any uh, uh, root symbol there, like if you don't see a cube root or fourth root, then if there's no root but they have the radical sign, then that means square root and the b would be 2. You also have to put in the E, and that messes people up. So if you don't see a power here, you still have to put a 1 in here for E. And then if you don't see any leading coefficient out here, then that would be assumed to be 1, but this one is 3. Scrolling down, we can see our um, vertex point is what I said there, 5, negative 6. Is it a max or a min? Well, really, the graph doesn't even start till a, 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 about 5 or so. Let's take a look at the graph. Uh, no, since it's squared, we get stuff on both sides, but there's your, uh, you see it's a maximum. It's both the right and left-hand side of a sideways parabola, and it's at uh, 5 on the x-axis, and then, uh, well, let's, let's see it here again, see if I can see this thing better. Actually, I, th I think uh, the vertex point, yeah, let's see here, point, let's see if I I can see this whole thing here a little bit better. 5, negative 6, and there we go. Here's 10, here's 0, so here's 5, negative 6 right here. There it is. And um, it is a maximum. It gives you a sideways parabola on both sides, the left and the right. If we would extend this out farther on both sides, um, let's go from, oh, let's go a negative 100 to 100, so you can see this. Well, and see it's scaling the graph, but it's, um, you get this look right here. And um, actually it's not a sideways parabola. It is a curve that's coming on both sides, but uh, it's not a, a square root. It's, it's a cube root squared, which makes it kind of to the uh, two-thirds power. But um, see, cube root, and then that squared, that's the same as the two-thirds power. So not quite the one-half power as the square root is. But that's the look of that thing. And then um, G, see, G would just be a regular square root graph. Let's do that one. Let's do G here. So G, putting in the coefficients here, it would be a negative 3 for A. The B is 2 since it's square. The C is 5. Power. Power. There's and at the end. 
So where's the uh, vertex point? Well, by hand, to so set it equal to 0, set the 2x minus 5 equal to 0, you get 2x equals 5, or x equals 5 halves, or 2.5. So that's the x part, and the y part of the vertex point would be any constant there at the end, and there isn't any, so it's at uh, 2.50, and that's what we have here, 2.50. It would be a uh, the bottom half of a sideways parabola, in, um, because that's negative, so it would be a maximum, and we can see this, let's take a look at it here. There's nothing at, on the left hand side of that 2.5 and here's your bottom half of your parabola, uh, sideways parabola going out here. So that's that one there. Um, this one, what is the equation of a circle that's centered here and has a radius of 6? Well the formula for a circle, let's go to that a second, that's on the conics uh, sheet right here and uh, you can put in on this, you can put in the point, which is 5, negative 3, and you can put in the radius right here of 6. So what would be the equation? Well, x minus 5 squared, see it's x minus whatever the x value is, squared, plus y minus the y value, y minus a minus 3 is y plus 3, that gets squared, that equals the radius squared, 36. So there's your equation right there. Um, Four, what I would do with four, if you want to find the radius in the uh, center of this circle, is I would use the conic sheet. If not, you're going to have to uh, complete the square. But you can do that by completing the square, or you can put in all of these into um, this area right here of the uh, of the Excel sheet. Let's, let's do that a second. Let's see if we can do it. So um, here we go. So putting in my coefficients, two, ten, uh, zero, and I'll tell you what, I'll move this up a little bit so you can see the coefficients going in there. Uh, the C, there's no constant here with the X's. Then going over here to the D, that's two, uh, sorry, two, negative three, and a 32. And then the G, which I think is on the other side, looking at the say equals g, so what's on the other side, 100, and at that point it completes the square and does all that stuff, and you get, uh, here's the radius, 6.38, it's a circle because the horizontal and vertical radius are the same, 6.38 approximately. Here's the center, negative 2.5.75 is the coordinate of the uh, center of that circle. Uh, five, determine if these things are functions. Well. This is a function because the x is squared and the y isn't. It's a, uh, this is a parabola opening downward. Uh, this is not a function because the y's are squared and the x isn't. So uh, just if the y's are squared, it's not a function. So this is a actual sideways parabola, and it's actually opening to the left because of this negative sign right here. It's just a linear equation because that's a circle. This is a linear equation because that's uh, that, sorry, this is a linear equation because everything's to the first power. This is two, everything's to the first power. It's a linear equation. So both of these are functions. This is the top half and bottom half of a sideways parabola, so it's not a function because a vertical line would hit it in two spots. So C, sorry, B and E are not functions. And it's the same type of thing going on on six. And uh, that's pretty much it. These type things here, uh, Let's see. Uh, these type of things are, uh, see, function, not a function, function, function. Same sort of layout. This is a function because this is just the top half of a sideways parabola actually opening to the right. This is the bottom half of a sideways parabola opening to the right. So both of these are functions. This is the top half of a sideways parabola opening to the left. Top half because the sign out here is positive to the left because this sign right here is negative. So it's a function. This is the bottom half of a sideways parabola opening to the left, because this is negative, so it's a function, but this isn't, because this will give you plus or minus the square root of 5x, which is the top half and bottom half. If you would solve this for y, you get, take the square root of both sides, you get y equals a, a plus or minus square root of 5x, which gives you the top half and bottom half of a sideways parabola, so this is not a function here. And that's pretty much uh, everything on this, so I'll stop right there.